Well, welcome back to the channel. So if you're new to this channel, in this channel, I just usually share some of the things I used to change my lifestyle in the past several years by building a healthy routine, by going to the gym, and by reading my books. Occasionally, I share some of the fun things happening in my life. These days, I lived in London now, and I can just travel to anywhere in European continent. And today, I am in Florence. I have been in Italy for three days now. Very excited to start my journey in Florence because so many people have told me that Florence is not only their favorite city in Italy, but <laughs> their favorite city in the whole world. My Airbnb is just at the center of Florence. I will have my first stop today to visit this famous sandwich shop. It's called All Antico Vinayo. <laughs> I'll put a link down below. And I built a walking tour in around 11 something. So like yesterday I was super super tired so I didn't plan anything. I was like, let me just book a tour and then somebody else who know the city can show me around. Usually what I do if I'm visiting a new city alone, I usually just book a walking tour, especially in cities like this. I did that in Sevilla in Spain. I think uh, in cities like this would be great because it has so much history. It's better that somebody just show you around with a group of people and then later you can explore it by yourself. So I'm going to do the walking tour, visit the famous Duomo and also a church and some other stuff. And in the afternoon, I've already booked a ticket to the museum to see the famous David. And then I will just walk around the city. And the best thing about traveling alone is that you don't have to plan a lot because you can just enjoy the day as is and see what kind of other stuff that come up. Okay, let's go. We're early in the morning and then I walk to the bridge. I think that's one of the oldest bridge, maybe. People are going about their day. And then the tourists, not many tourists, that's only me. I love how quiet these cities are in early in the morning and mornings are my favorite time. I usually just take the time to get around the city when there's nobody around. Historical bridge, I think people are taking photos here. And it's not getting very busy yet. Maybe I'll look at the jerseys. But now I'm very hungry. Let me just go to see some sandwich. And now I understand why everybody said that this is their favorite city. You just walk, and then everything just showed up. All those famous attractions. Now I'm walking in a very, I think it's the central part of the city. There are a lot of groups already. They're taking walking tours. It feels like I know nothing about the city. I should have done some research. We will learn by walking around and talking to people. Inferno, Inferno, Boss, Paradiso. Grazie. Just got this sandwich. There's so many, at least four, three, three shops with the same name. And if you come here in 10, a.m. in the morning you line up for a bit one after another they were like oh we're ready you can just come here never been to a sandwich shop that smells so good it smells like truffles and salami and everything uh, this is a great way to start the day and now i'm just going to walk to my uh, walking tour at the beginning of the 1200s, at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then you see some ancient Roman columns because uh, the materials uh, used by the Romans uh, for their temples and buildings were later used to build or decorate other buildings. Donatello, so we're going to see a statue made by Donatello. Donatello is one of the greatest sculptors ever. Okay. This is 
a wooden marble which uh, reproduces uh, the original uh, facade. So you have uh, the original Arnold uh, Fodicandio's uh, statues uh, right here. And then up there, pastors. You know, to show you for the original material. But these ones are the original medieval statue. Yes. So call the Madonna with uh, the blue eyes. Uh, hmm? Still had wooden doors. So they decided that to replace the wooden doors with bronze ones. Uh, because bronze is much uh, bronze is a much more precious uh, uh, material than wood. So they still have third in the uh, uh, 30s. So in 1401 they decided to replace another one of the wooden doors with another set of the bronze doors. And so in 1401 a competition, a contest was announced and it was won by Lorenzo Di Berti. Lorenzo Di Berti was 27 years, completed in 1452. What would you point out? Can you see the difference now? We have just the 10 panels, I mean just the 10 panels of 40 stories from the Old Testament. Not 28 panels and 28 incidents. In this case you have 10 boxes and 40 stories from the Old Testament. And now you can see the three-dimensionality. Okay, now it's a very uh, complicated uh, technique. They didn't like it anymore, it was uh, out of date and so it was torn down. I mean, the cathedral uh, uh, remained, uh, uh, left the facade for uh, at least 300 years. That's fine. So, Mary Magdalene, do you know who Mary Magdalene uh, was? It was moved to the cathedral, into the cathedral. I just finished climbing the dome. <laughs> I think maybe it takes I think 15 minutes go to go up to the top but at the end it's a little bit narrow and uh, the space is not too big. The top, I think it's better if you go there earlier then there's not many people. Now there's a reasonable amount of people, I think they control the crowd that can be up there. When you get down, I think it's a little bit challenging for people who are bigger in size, like if you're a tall guy, it might be difficult but overall it's a good experience. Now I'm going to get a gelato and then go to the museum. I rest a little bit. I decided to go back to the bell tower to go up to the top and then get to the from the other side. There is a period of time that there's not many people in this plaza. Maybe that's around lunch time. And now it's 3-ish in the afternoon. If you booked on the reserve ticket, you can actually skip the line. I think that's the main benefit. Even not that tight of budget, maybe it's a good way to consider. Now we can just skip all the line, go into the cathedral, and maybe go up to the top. Compared to the previous one, the dome over there, this one is much easier to climb. I almost think that I'm already there, but it's uh, halfway. They give you a platform so that you can rest a little bit and then have a little bit of break. Then I go up again. I thought that's all. It turned out there's a still like stairs behind me, so we're going to climb up again and see maybe we have better views. So I'm finally on the top. I think it took me 15 minutes to get on top. You can see that it's all protected as well. But I think it's worth the journey because it's very open here. You can see the whole view of the city. On a nice day, it's definitely worth just to enjoy the sun here.
I think this kind of city in Italy is really great to walk around. I didn't really expect it, that I would visit this place. Just because I walked at, at the end of a very narrow street, this uh, amazing attraction just show up at the end. It's like when you turn the streets, sometimes you see amazing structures and sometimes you smell the flowers. This is what happened to me. And then I see all these beautiful flowers. You know, the whole street smells amazing just because of the flower. And I continue to my way to Piazza Michelangelo. So on the way to the Piazza Michelangelo, it's a very quiet and up here we have a lot of bars, small bistro like restaurants. Reminded me of the way to Montmartre in Paris. I'm a little bit out of breath. I've been walking too much today, but I think it's all worth it. Let's see what's up there. I feel like today is the whole day of climbing upstairs. So you go to the Duomo and then it's like 463 steps. The bell tower is another, I don't know how many. And then here, we climb it up again. But I think it's all for the best because usually the higher you go, the better view you have. Especially with this one, I will be here around like sunset time. Now it's 6 p.m. Hear the bells from the churches. Surprisingly, it's very quiet. There are not many like tourists here. Hopefully, I can get to see the view and then enjoy a nice dinner somewhere. You now after climbing so many steps, and then that road is actually blocked. I don't know why. The view is absolutely, you know, breathtaking. It's worth every effort that you come here and to enjoy a little bit of maybe sunset here. So come down. You're from everybody long somebody must change you are the reason I've been waiting all these years somebody has the key when I'm in the and I die Tell you I'm sorry You don't know how lovely you are You know what I think of this place? It's like magic because there are some other places in the world maybe you can enjoy like food, culture, good vibes Maybe Florence is the only place that teach you how to slow down how to enjoy the time and how to you know relish about the past and the future and to learn from the history but also enjoy the moment. <laughs> there will be other cities that you fall in love slowly but this is the place that you love at first sight. It's definitely I'll come back again maybe sometime in the future. <laughs> Pecorino cheese, it has a cheese and pear, and pear, salt, and butter. The second option is inside the yellow pumpkin and the French cheese sauce. French cheese is the little bourgogne, it's a very sweet cheese, mm -hmm. and the serving of the little pop sit in the top. The third option is inside the regatta cheese and truffle, and the sliced fresh black truffle. Ciao! Or inside the potatoes in sausage and the pesto with black cabbage. Two different big spaghetti, the typical spaghetti and pasta restaurant, which is meat sauce, meat of three or four, pesto, we got a cheese, a little fresh tomato, and the skin and spaghetti, and a black fresh truffle. Okay. Well, this restaurant is really, really amazing. They're very small, and they comprise this family type of and then I ordered the pasta with the white chocolate on top. It's great. 
It was like just the right place that you should just have a dinner right after you have all the day visiting your favorite places. Meatballs, mm -hmm. meat of beef inside bread and milk, Parmigiano cheese, aromatic herb, egg, and the cooked in oven in the water and oil. Yeah. Try stomach of cow as a traditional flour drinking plate and the slow cooks and the white wine, aromatic herb and the tomato sauce. Peposo, traditional plate in Tuscany, little piece of meat of beef, long cooked and the red wine, aromatic herb, tomato sauce and pepper. Osso buco, this is bone around the meat of a veal and the slow cooked and the white onions, white wine, aromatic herb and lemon. Stuffed roast rabbit inside liver, pancetta pork, cheese and aromatic herb. Eggplant parmigiana, not fried, cooking over fresh tomato, we got a cheese and parmigiano cheese inside. Rolled beef inside celery, carrots, parmigiano cheese, ham and the stew and the red wine and the tomato sauce. Rolled chicken inside the mortella pork, cheese and truffle and the cooked in oven and the little tomato and the thyme. Burrata meat and vegetables, buffalo mozzarella and truffle. So after a full day of walking, now I'm walking back to my Airbnb. I will walk past by the oldest bridge again. I think Florence is really, you know, safe and everybody is happy. Everybody taking their time, they're very slow, they don't rush things. But that's the beauty of Florence. Because I fall in love and I need your help.